Giant Big Steps. Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Thanks for clicking on our daily devotion. I'm Andy Ross, one of the pastors at Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. And these, this is one of my favorite shoes. Uh, I love to go walking, take the dog for a walk, or go walk, hike in the desert. Um, and I have to admit, when I walk, I do take big steps. In John chapter 5, the Bible, Jesus is teaching, and he talks about the value of how at some point you need to take a giant step of faith. Listen to what Jesus says. John chapter 5, he says, it's urgent that you listen carefully to this. Anyone here who believes what I am saying right now and aligns himself with the Father, who has in fact put me in charge, has at this very moment the real lasting life and is no longer condemned to be an outsider. The person who has taken a giant step from the world of the dead to the world of the living. It's urgent that you get this right. Just as the Father has life in himself, he has conferred on the Son the life in himself, and he has given him the authority simply because he is the Son of Man. Have you taken that step of trust and faith from just existing until you die to living in a whole new way with a new purpose and peace with the promise of eternity and glory. That is a big step. And in the middle of this week, in this month of January, I want to encourage you to take some giant steps of faith. What have you been afraid of? Where have you been caught? Where are you struggling with your anxieties? Trust. And for some of you who have never opened yourself to God, to Jesus, maybe for you today, at least it's a small step of inquiry. Read some passages from the Bible, from the Gospel of John. Maybe go with your friend to a worship service at a Christian church. Come to Northminster Church. Start taking some steps that moves you into a new identity and a forever peace. You can do it. You can do it. And we're here to help you. Giant steps that change your life. Lord bless you.